Hey, what's going on YouTube? I don't know if you guys remember this, but uh, uh, when I was doing the suspension on this uh, wheel, my uh, steering rack fell off and uh, the boot broke. And instead of the boot, I put um, paper towels over there with some zip ties. So that was my super clever uh, fix, uh, you know, DIY style for a person who knows nothing. And now, and also there was some suspension already uh, loose, rattling a little bit. Well, it has come time for that suspension to completely uh, start rattling like crazy on both sides in the front. I hope it's just in the front. And I'm uh, going to take the wheel off and show you what happens when you put paper towels instead of a rubber boot. So let me raise this thing up and let's see what's happening inside. It's going to be a surprise for all of us. I don't know if you guys know this. Did you know? I got this new bad boy Milwaukee 2767 2100 RPMs of nut busting torque. Booyah! With a 8.0 high output battery. Mmm. Love this thing. Let's see what it do. Speed one. That's speed two. It's got four. So here is what happens. There's the broken boot that I tried to wrap on successfully clearly and here is that paper with the tarp and my zip tie you will be happy to know that the zip tie survived and also the I didn't even cut the end off so we've got some issues here let me uh, cut the zip tie off and see what's loose I know right away and if you guys can help me out with this I think I think I need to replace this what is that this uh, what lower control arm I think the bushing in there might be shot and uh, Maybe uh, this one too. I'm not sure how much of this you can see. Maybe this one. I'm about to move it around and see what moves. But yeah, any suggestions would be very helpful. I gotta double zip tie it, you know what I'm saying? Keep it secure. <clears throat> One thing I can show you right away is look at this. I didn't even notice it earlier. Look at this. It is just ripping apart. Why? It's supposed to be brand new. I think this is what? This is cracking already. Why would it crack? I replaced this not even a year ago. <sighs> Quality German parts. Alright. It's my super, uh... Super project oriented uh, tool. It was uh, specifically made for this use. 
I don't know if you know this, you can pick this up in the garden section of uh, your local Home Depot. Okay, so I thought something was going to be loose right here because I've got a rattle like crazy while I'm driving. And I'm trying to move things around. The whole car moves. Okay. Let's try. That can't be good, right? What does that mean? Hmm. Is that this bolt that's loose? I don't really understand what is going on at all. I gotta tell you to my untrained eye doesn't look that bad but look at this this guy right here that's shot is it possible that that is making a clanking noise as I drive because I gotta tell you, uh, how do I show you, how do I show you that one over there. That one right there. is nice and soft. and soft I don't know if you can see that I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be this is not my thing but they generally seem okay There's a bunch of grease here also. I wonder where that's from. But, and then, it's, the, it's these two, right? This one, which kind of seems okay. And that one, which also seems okay. Yeah, where are we here? soft and supple everything seems okay except for where is it at this culprit right here <sighs> and what would that be that would be what another control arm what do they call this thing? If you guys can, help me out. Let me know what this rear control arm is called. Is it a rear, front, rear control arm? Lower control arm? Strange. Strange indeed. Well, let's take the other tire off and see what's happening over there. I gotta tell you guys, I do not enjoy this as much as I'd like to. The special tool, by the way, this was uh, from a wind chime, in case uh, you need something to uh, bust 
bust these out, go to your local Home Depot, and get a wind chime. This is the life of a DIYer. And also the very first thing that I found in the garage. That was thin enough to fit, but you know, it's fine, right? So, this one's not ripped and might be a original Mercedes part. Seems to be doing quite nicely. This uh, rotor is not loose, which makes me wonder. Ooh. There's something. And uh, again, that thing is shot right there. So what is this, the front lower control arm? But would it make that kind of noise on the road? That seems fine, that seems fine. Not that I know what I'm talking about, but that one seems fine. Oh. That is also shot. Can I see it from the other side? Oh, look at that. See them both right here. So, this one and that one. So that means both lower control arms. If I'm understanding that correctly or even saying the parts names correctly, which I might not be. Good stuff. Good stuff. Huh. Okay, let me try to do the lift test and see what results that yields. And again, nothing really moving around except the car so that seems strange no or at least I thought there'd be a lot more damage that I would be able to see visually with my untrained eyes but, as you can see, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to not take it to the dealer and give them $10,000 for replacing some stuff that they tell me I need. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's the front. That's the front of the car. The way your body sink a place. You're driving me crazy. In case you're wondering, it's 110 uh, foot-pounds, 150 newton meters. So here's the rear. It didn't really feel like raising it today. 
but thought I'd climb under here and take a look if I can see anything at all. Doesn't look nearly as complicated as the front. So... I don't really know what I'm looking for here. Let me see from the other side. Well, I can't. It's the passenger side. I'm not sure. I don't really know. You guys are much bigger experts than I am, but to me, this looks uh, fairly, fairly uh, good and not damaged but what do i know literally nothing so if you guys spot anything please let me know and as far as the front guys do me a favor i'm gonna look this up i have some uh all data and mitchell programs uh i think they're working i don't remember i'm gonna look some stuff up see if uh i can locate the parts and part numbers and whatnot based on my vin but if you guys know what those parts are, what I need based on this video and uh, part numbers, if you got them. If not, that's okay. Just tell me what it's called. I'll look it up by my VIN. Not a big deal, but I need your guys' help. If you can, please help a brother out. And uh, that way you can laugh at me trying to replace that stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to take this stuff on. This looks, uh, that front suspension that front suspension looks uh, pretty complicated. I don't know if I'll be able to take it on, but you guys tell me, do you think a person who knows nothing might be able to um, take this stuff apart and put it back together? And also, if all of that goes how it's supposed to, will I need an alignment? Let me know, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, peace. Yeah, this is the next day after I took those tires off uh, yesterday and uh, tried to take a look at the suspension. Listen. Listen to this. I hope you guys can hear that. It's, uh, it's really, really sounding loose. Hear that? When you want some bumps in the road, you know, it's like a perfect road out here. But uh, on a regular, it's like the types of potholes here in Chicago that'll swallow up a whole SUV. <sighs> but I wanted to uh, uh, show you what I mean by uh, loose suspension. I'm sure you know, uh, but uh, I wanted to try to ride over some bumps, but... Uh, Looks like the road's pretty good here, so I'm gonna try to record it uh, somewhere else. Well, something new just started happening. I got, uh, so I heard some noise, like something fell off. I don't know what's uh, going on there. But uh, now, every time I hit a bump, I get a crazy vibration, feeling like it's coming from that uh, passenger front uh, side. 
and I wonder what that is. I had a thought that maybe uh, the strut was failing, the air strut was failing me. I, I don't know, but uh, I thought, oh, did you hear that? Then I, I pressed the brake. Oh, that's my brakes doing that. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. That's the brakes making that noise. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Just figured it out. Because I had it on uh, radar cruise control. And, uh, wow, that's bad. That's bad. Okay. And I have to figure that out now. I had it on uh, radar cruise control and it seemed like uh, the, the vibration was coming after I hit a bump or something. But now it's clear that my brakes are the culprit. Wow, that's really bad. Okay, signing off. So you guys are not gonna believe this, because I know I don't. I uh, stopped on the side of the road here on the highway because uh, it's pretty bad. Look at this. How do I show it to you? The inside of the rim is scratched because my caliper is attached on top for now, but is not attached here. And it's straight up rubbing the inside of the rim. At this point, I don't really know what happened or what to do. So, yeah.